Hi and welcome to this Monday's Arginal um, video. Um, I'm just quickly forwarding you this piece of the video just showing you how I prep my page with a little bit of gesso and a card. Just scrape it down as smoothly as possible. And then today we're going to be using um, this uh, a bird and uh, this is the little kit that I created for the four weeks that I'm in now with the originals and you can find this on iHeart Studio and I think I'm going to um, just put it on sale for this week so go and have a look on iHeart Studio you might find a good deal so I'm not going to do an uh, image transfer with this uh, image I'm just going to cut it out and I'm going to use Mod Podge and stick it down on my layout or on my page and then I'm going to uh, cover the edges up with a little paint and blend it into the page, so to speak. I love this blue. It's called Cerulean Blue. And for some reason, I have not found uh, Liquitex paint in this blue. This specific color, Cerulean Blue. So it's a different brand. But I am going to do image transfer of the thank you, which is uh, from a song by Il Song, um, a very heartfelt Christian song that I absolutely love. So I'm just adding a little bit of mud patch, and I'm just going to, um, yeah, just put down the image. And even though the mud patch dry completely clear, so it shines through beautifully. And you can also see in the finished image on my blog that I added my journaling to it, which is cool. I think it makes a massive big difference if you finish the layout with, a, with your journaling. So now I'm laying down my image transfer and do not put Mod Podge on top of it. Just remember that. You can see I was tempted to do it, but I didn't. And um, you just want to put down a good amount of Mod Podge on the paper and on the ink part of your image and then lay it down and smooth it out and let it dry completely. And once it's dry, then you're going to remove it with a little bit of water. I'm definitely not good at this yet. <laughs> I'm saying yet because I, I really believe the more you do things, the better you get at you know, you become at it and I'm very, very um, committed to to get this right, you know. So, I'm, I love this art journaling process and it's really a process to me. And that's why, you know, um, I'm so happy that you watch my videos and they actually get a fair amount of views, which I'm thankful for. Because I didn't know exactly how the scrapbookers will react to me doing our journaling. But it's been nothing but kind and and sweet. So thank you so much for that. So, okay. <laughs> Just between you and me. My goal is to do the voiceover for this video in one fell swoop. So I'm not going to cut. I'm not going to. So even if I say something dumb, I'm not going to cut it out. Hopefully I won't. But you can see I spritzed it with water and now you just gently rub off the back of the paper and the ink shines through and it's very lovely. And also where there's some mud patch on the back, you can see it won't rub off as easily. So yeah, that's never a good idea. And one thing that I do want to try, a couple of you have mentioned that apparently laser print uh, photocopies work better than inkjet photocopies so I guess I'll try that at some stage and see even though it will be a huge pain for me because I don't have a laser printer um, so I have to go and make an actual copy at a copier like staples or so right um, that looked fairly good um, you can see in the edge of the page in the inside, it probably a little bit of Mod Podge got on the back. But that's okay. You know what? 
I'm very happy with this. In finishing this page when I was writing it yesterday, I did most of my journaling, as you can see in the final images, on the bird side of the page. And on the thank you side, I added, um, there's the cerulean blue. How beautiful is that? And I, I bought a Windsor & Newton um, acrylic paint. It's the only paint I could find with the cerulean blue. So now I'm just going to blend that image in. Anyway, so I decided to balance the layout was almost with um, a lot of journaling on the one side and just a feature pit bit on the other side but you'll see that on my blog okay but now i have to stop because i'm going to play you some music for the next little bit so you can see what i do i mean it's no really not a lot of use in me narrating it for you but um Thanks to YouTube, I have free music that I can play for you. So enjoy. I'm adding some light blue and I'm just blending it in with a little bit of water and or your hands or a dry brush depends on what you want to use um, you'll see when, when you paint over Mod Podge sometimes like in this instance um, the paint won't really stick but that's fine you'll see in a second what I mean um, the lovely thing about prepping your pages with a little bit of gesso is that when you add a add some water it doesn't uh, um, make your page porous so that's nice so it doesn't make it ripple actually do you can see how the paint is giving away on the Mod Podge but that's fine that's a dry brush by the way and I'm just going to dab it a little bit with a paper towel I just want to blend it in a little bit more but I love that effect I love that effect and you can see how the image totally blended in on the page um, doesn't even look like you stuck it down it looked like you painted it on just adding a touch of blue and I must say I used my pigment writer my um, let me just find it here in my my Zig pigment pen. It's a vellum writer for vellum, and it has a, a, a 0.5 millimeter tip, and it worked like an absolute charm writing on on the um, paint 
when I did my actual journaling. So that's lovely. And I'm almost done. I, I'm going to add a touch of yellow. You'll see in a second. Because I wanted a focal point and bring in some warmth there. And that's when I decided just to add the cut file as well. Kind of blend in. And again, you know, I think um, what, what I will always aim to do is make subtle changes, you know, and try not to use too much media. I mean, if you if that's your art journaling style, absolutely go for it. But I think for me, my whole aim in life is to simplify and to unclutter and to uncomplicate, you know, and I think... This is a great exercise to try and do it on the art journal pages as well. I mean that yellow really just brings it in, just makes it lovely. And I decide, I have to decide where do I put that cut file. And in the end I decided to put it in a way that I can just add like a piece of scripture or, or a quote or something that is significant. And that will um, can be framed, literally and figuratively speaking. So I'm a little lazy. I should wait for everything to dry. And that way I would know that my white frame will remain white. But yeah, I'm not so patient. Yeah, so I'm just adding a little bit of my touch to the top of the frame and and then I'm done. You can see the final page with the journaling on my blog, vilnafirstenberg.com. And um, again, thank you for watching this video. I hope I inspire you to come along with me on this journey. It's very simple. It's super cheap. You don't even have to buy any supplies um, except of course for the little bundle that I provide for you on iHeart Studio if you want to play along otherwise of course you can make your own um, designs and paint your own birds or whatever you want to but I think um, connecting the images and the colors and the art with the words is actually where it's at and that's really I think a life-changing experience so Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.